Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we are live at the Dorothy Talbot Rink in Gloucester with the Lady Fishermen take on the Marblehead Magicians and Girls Varsity Hockey. Thanks again to Mike Nocella and Nocella Paving for the continued support of high school sports on KPN. Nocella Paving, 781-938-9162. That's 781 938-9162. And I want to welcome everybody today to the rink for the final winter sports weekend of the season. But we're almost ready to go here. In the Gloucester Girls, unfortunately, I couldn't do that game on Thursday, but in incredible improvement. Correct, Jim, from the, as the season wears on? Yeah. Excellent game. They won 5-3. to three. They beat a good Marblehead team. And that's always a good sign. Remember now, Gloucester is in their first year as a varsity program. Um, so now when you get promoted to the varsity level, the competition gets promoted too. So, And that's a good sign that they beat Marblehead last time. And they're here today to finish up the season against them this afternoon on February the 20th, 2021. I'm Phil Castro, Jim Capello on the camera. The referees are at center ice. They're just waiting for the teams to uh, do their pregame rituals. There was no national anthem this year. Hopefully next year we can get back to some normalcy. I think a national anthem should be played regardless, but I guess not this year. Okay, here we go. So here come the fishermen. Sidney Bushi at center. Mia Salas out there. And we're underway. Marblehead with the puck at center ice. They get it over the blue line. Get it in the zone. And it's in on the goaltender. Today's starting goaltender for the fishermen is number one, Rachel Daly. And Rachel is a junior. And we give her a start here this afternoon to finish up the season. Back to the point. Goes behind the Gloucester net. Out front, shot goes wide. Marblehead, a real good scoring opportunity there. The puck comes along the boards. Fishman try to get it out. They do. And But Marblehead knocks it right back in. Ella Costa out there, number 10. She has the puck. She makes a pass in the near boards to number 18. Aria Caputo. The fishermen try to keep it in. They do along the near boards. And they stay in the zone. But Marblehead comes out with it. Pass to the far side. And here come the Magicians. It's broken up by Gloucester, but they keep it in. Pass up the boards, and it's connected. Here come the fishermen. A little slow development, but they get it over the blue line. But Marblehead is there. They get it outside the blue line. And the fishermen throw it back in. Knock back out the center icing. And it goes back into the Marblehead zone. And Gloucester is able to get a line change. Broken up. And here comes Marblehead. Again, the blue line. She's all alone. Puck goes wide. 
Puck goes in the corner. Behind the net. Out front, shot score. Marblehead takes a 1 0 lead on a goal by number two, Abigail Amigo. It, and it says right here, Abigail's only an eighth grader. Unless that's a misprint. Be patient, folks. We're trying to get the pitcher back. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Here come the fishermen. Marblehead intercepts. one nothing. Marblehead on a quick goal. By, Ab by Abigail Amigo. Fishermen have it. They throw it in deep. Goes behind the Marblehead net. The fishermen go on the four check. Number 12 is out there. Julie Ward. Puck goes to the far corner on the near side. But Marblehead is there. Puck comes outside the blue line. It's in the neutral zone. Here comes Marblehead on the break. Takes it to the middle. Save by Daly. Alan Costa is out there. Number 10. Number 17 is out there. Ariana Mullen. But Marblehead with the puck. The fishermen are on a line change. Here comes Mia Sala, number 19. Brooke McNiff is out there, 13. Here comes Marblehead, though. They come out with it. They take it around the net. Up high to the point. And it goes wide. The fishermen bank it off the boards, and they get it out of the zone. But Marblehead has possession at center ice. Mia Sala out there. She's double teamed. Sala can't control it. And here comes Marblehead on the counterattack. They throw it in deep. It goes behind the Gloucester net. Brooke McNiff, number 13, out there. Sala on the far wing trying to get it out. And Sala gets it out. It goes to the neutral zone. It goes down to the Marblehead end. Both teams are on a line change. Here comes Marblehead. They swing it around their own net. Try to break it out. Fishermen are on the forecheck, but here comes Marblehead again on the fast break. And Gloucester gets it out. They got numbers if they hurry. Make a nice pass. And it goes in on goaltender, and she ties it up. Sorry, folks. Sorry for the technical difficulties. In goal for Marble Hit is Lily Francoeur. Back to the point. Shot. Save. It was deflected. So Francoeur didn't quite see that all the way. Marble Hit with possession behind their own net. Gloucester intercepts. They get it out front. They can't. Here comes Marble Hit on the counterattack. It's a one on two. But she's got a head of steam. Number 12. She's in. Shot. Save by Rachel Daly. That was a big save. I hope uh, you people see the video now, I hope. Sorry, we apologize here at KPN Live. Shot is blocked. Goes to the far wing. And Gloucester gets it out of the zone. And here come the fishermen. They try to get it out front. She can't. That was number 12 for Gloucester, Julie Ward. And... They keep it in. Marblehead has possession, but deep on their own end. At the and Marblehead intercepts it in the neutral zone. And the fishermen trying to get in the zone. It packs in the neutral zone right now. And it went into the Marblehead bench. It came back out for a whistle. one nothing Marblehead on a goal by number two. Abigail Amigo. They lead it 1-0, 944 left first period on the final weekend of the winter sports season. 2021. As strange as it may have been, but we got through it. 
Gloucester trying to get it in. The Mobley head knocks it back out. The Fisherman knock it back in. Ella Costa, number 10. Puck was behind the Mobley head net. Comes to the near boards, kept in by the Fisherman. Jenna Connolly, number 24. She intercepts it. And it comes out the neutral zone. Marble hit, throws it back in deep, goes behind the Gloucester net. Ella Costa, number 10 with it. She gets it up to the boards, and the Marble hit keeps it in. Shot in on Daly. She saves it. Costa swings it all the way around. And Julie Ward's over there, but she can't get it out. Abigail Lau, this is out there, number four. Fishman trying to get the puck out of their own end, having a difficulty right now. Puck goes behind their own net. Marblehead with it. She takes it to the middle. And she gets broken up. She gets a shot off, but it was deflected high. It went over the net. But Marblehead still has possession. But Rachel Daly ties it up. We finally get the whistle. We hope you're seeing the video. Okay, we're back. Jim just confirmed it. one nothing Marble here. They lead on shots on goal, too. 6-2. to two. Fisherman trying to get it out. They do. Goes down into the Marble Head zone. Fisherman need to start a good forecheck. Haven't had too much zone time so far in this period. And here comes Marblehead again on the counterattack. But the Fishermen are back defensively. Puck goes all the way into the far corner in the Gloucester end. It comes out front. Be careful. And the Fishermen get it out. And here comes Mia Sala. A couple of nice moves. And we get a penalty coming up on Marblehead. And... And the referee's calling something. Some sort of a bench penalty is going on, I think. He's over there talking to their bench, and someone's going in the penalty box. Number 11, Ellie Seller, a junior, is in the penalty box for two minutes. Fishman are on a power play with a chance to tie it. They get it back to the point. Shot in, deflected. Just wide. Back to the point. Shot in again. Mia Sala, her shot is blocked. Marble here trying to get it out. They do. They clear the zone. Fishman. Try to get it out. They're on the power play, but look out. Shot deflected over the net. Mobley hit intercepted the pass, and the fisherman trying to break it out. But here comes Gloucester now. But they can't get by the defense. Here comes Marblehead. Number 10 for Marblehead. Elsa Wood. She's also um, down as an eighth grader. Here comes Gloucester. Still got a full minute on the power play. She's got some speed. Got to play her out front. Finds her. Couldn't connect. She's still battling away. Number 17 for Gloucester. That's uh, Ariana Mullen. She was in front of that. She had a couple of chances. And Marblehead clears the zone. 45 seconds left on the Gloucester power play. 1-0 Marblehead. The shots on goal is 6-5. The fishermen are caught up in that area. But again, Marblehead knocks it back in. They come to the near side, but no Gloucester player is there. Marble Hit keeps it in. And the fishermen get it out. Marble Hit knocks it right back in, but they're off sides. But they touch up, so now they're back on side. And the fishermen not doing much on this power play. They still got some time. If they hurry, they still got 10 seconds. If they hurry, shot deflected high. It's caught by the goaltender. Number 30, Lily Francoeur. Yeah. 
shots on goal at six apiece. There's only one second left on the power play. And she comes out. So number 11 come out of the penalty box. She went right onto the ice. And here she comes. She has possession. Shot is blocked. Kept in. Sala with it. And, oh, here come the fishermen. They hurry. Marble hits back defensively, though. Puck goes behind the Marblehead net. And here come the Magicians. She takes it wide behind the net. Looking for someone to pass to, but no one's there. Except for Mia Sala. And Sala can't get it out. Out front it goes. Fishermen are trying to clear, and they do. If they hurry, they can get a break. But they lost possession. Four and a half minutes left, first period. one nothing Marblehead. Sala makes a pass. To the far boards, and the puck goes out of play. 4.25 remaining in the first. one nothing Marblehead. Gloucester got off to a little bit of a slow start in this period. They seem to be picking up a little bit here now. 7-6 shots on goal, Marblehead. Ariana Mullins out there with Julie Ward. Ward with it. Shots blocked. Number 24 is out there too. Jenna Connolly. Connolly in the four check. And they keep it in. But Marblehead gets it back out. And here comes Marblehead. She's all alone. Easy shot on Bushy. I mean, excuse me, Rachel Daly. On a Saturday afternoon here at the Dorothy Tablet Ice Arena. As we get to the final stages of winter. Puck was behind the net. Marblehead with it. Try to get it out front. She can't find nobody, but she keeps it. Number 10. What a good little skater she is. Shot. Save. Number 10 for Marblehead. El... Elsa Wood, and she's marked as an 8th grader. What a good little skater. Broken up by Gloucester at the, at the blue line. But Marblehead maintains possession. Broken up. Nice play by the defense for Gloucester. Gloucester on a line change. The puck goes down, I mean, down into the Marblehead zone. Pass to the other side. Brings it back to this side. Gloucester keeps it in. Marblehead knocks it back out. Puck goes back down to the Gloucester zone. Number 16 is there. Caden Poole. And here comes Marblehead, broken up by Gloucester at the last minute. Sala has it. Two on two. Mia. Nice move. Goes behind the net. But here comes Marblehead. And it's broken up at, the, at center ice. They gain the blue line. Broken up. Nice play. Mia Sala. Number seven for Marblehead. A good head of steam going in the zone. Now she has the puck again. Hayden Wales, number seven. For Marblehead. But the puck goes all the way down to the Gloucester zone. No ice. And they throw it back to this side. Two minutes remaining in the first period. One nothing, Marblehead. But he'll be oh, Fisherman had the turnover, but they couldn't maintain possession. And Marblehead gets it out to the neutral zone. Goes into Marblehead, and they get it out again. Then it goes all the way down to the Gloucester zone. Lost her on a line change, so is the Marblehead. Puck comes to the near side boards, but it's kept in by Marblehead. And the fishermen have it now, trying to get out of the zone, trying to get a break going. 
Here comes Mullen, Ar Ariana Mullen. Shot. Save by Frank Corr. Lily Frank Corr, the Marblehead goaltender. One ten remaining, first period. One nothing, Marblehead. Puck comes to the, behind the net, comes over to the near side corner. Takes a weird hop. Fishermen have it. Back to the point. Back to the wing again. Shot blocked. Goes behind the net. Tied up by Frank Hall. We're under a minute, first period. 52.3 seconds to be exact. Face off. Marble hit gains control. She takes it around the net. Passes it back to her defenseman. And if fishermen get it up high, they can't keep it in. And here comes Marblehead. Broken up. Goes in the Gloucester zone. Ella Costa there. She gets it up to the wing. Can't get it out. And it goes out of play. That will stop the clock with 26 seconds remaining. Fishermen off to a slow start in this period. They picked it up the second half of this period. And they trail it 1 nothing. Puck goes behind the Gloucester net. Better look out. Marblehead got a player out front. They can't get it to her. Now they have possession. Goes wide. Shot. Save by Daly. Fisherman trying to get it out two seconds. Here comes Mia Sala, but she's not going to have enough time. And she was ready to rip one, too. But the buzzer ran on her. So after one period of play, Marblehead leads it 1 0. We won't have a Zamboni, I don't think. Nope. The doors are not opening down on the corner. So we will take a little bit of a break. We'll be back. Every single one of his medical bills, everything, is just all taken care of. We have phenomenal research, outstanding clinical care, and the generosity of public, which allow us to treat patients regardless of what it takes. At St. Jude, families never receive a bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food, because the only thing a family should worry about is helping their child live. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. know what to do if you're stuck on the railroad crossing? Get out of your vehicle. If a train is not approaching, find the blue and white emergency notification system sign on the traffic signs at the crossing. For help, call the number on the sign and give them the crossing number so they know your location and can alert train traffic. Remember, find the blue and white to save your life. I was the lead gunner of the convoy that we had. While I was suppressing fire, I felt a flick on my upper bicep area. Right after my recovery, I had to find myself again and see what else I could do to continue my selfless service. Having an organization like the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes, putting me back into working with wounded troops helped me to process my injury. I'm Sergeant Mary Herrera, and my alive date was November 8, 2003. For more information, visit saluteheroes.org. Everyone, welcome back. Jim Capillo on the camera. I'm filling the cast. This is Cape Man Live. One little program note. Today's game will be seen at it its entirety and when the rebroadcast is done on YouTube. Even though we lost the picture there for a few minutes, which we feel terrible about, we have amazing technology, and, we, and you will see it again. Tomorrow, we'll be back on the air for the Gloucester Boys' final game of the season. It's also senior night tomorrow. Uh, the fishermen will be graduating four seniors, and we'll uh, honor them tomorrow. That's an, also a 4 o'clock start. Same bat time, same bat station. 
I just have to say that. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The team switch ends. Rachel Daly, the Gloucester goaltender, she'll go down on my left. And Lily Franco will go down on my right. And we're almost ready for second period action. All right. Off the faceoff. Marblehead has possession in the neutral zone. And they get it in deep. Goes behind the Gloucester net. Number four is there for the Fishermen. Abigail Lowthers. Out front shot. Look out. High and wide. Good setup there for Marblehead. Comes out front again. Fishermen get it out. And oh, Mia Sala, can she get it? No, oh, no. She was just about a foot away from a breakaway. But she couldn't ma maintain possession of the puck. And that goes down the other end. That should be an ice. Yeah, it did, a nice one, Marblehead. Good call by the ref. So the faceoff will come down to the Marblehead zone. And maybe the fisherman can get some zone time going. Fisherman did manage eight shots on goal that first period. They would like to double that number this period if they can. Puck goes behind the Marblehead net. Comes up high and they can't keep it in. It goes out the neutral zone. And it goes all the way down to the fisherman end. She takes it behind the net. Banks it off the boards. It's intercepted by Marlehead. Goes in behind the net. Marlehead is there out front. Good play by number 24. Connolly for the fisherman. Here come the fisherman. They might have some numbers if they hurry. Connolly, shot. Save Frank Orr. Puck comes out to the point. Fisherman keep it in. Shot. Deflected. But never made it to the goalie. And Marblehead clears the zone. Fisherman have the puck. Here comes Con uh, Connolly again. They throw it in deep. She goes off for a line change. And the Fisherman can't keep it in. They have possession in the neutral zone. Now they get it in. Goes in on Frank Corr and she gloves it. No, she can't glove it yet. She has to hand it off to uh, to one of her players. There wasn't enough pressure on her to hang on to the puck. And it's not kept in by the fishermen. They called it offsides. Oh, by about one inch, the puck came over the blue line. But good call by the ref. The shots on goal are tied, 11 apiece. And the fishermen get in the Marblehead zone, but Marblehead has possession. It's broken up. She banks it off the boards. Mia Sala trying to get it. Here comes Marblehead, three on two. They break in, shot, save daily. Out front, broken up by Glosser. Here comes Glosser on the breakout. And Mobley hit, throws it right back in. And Daly, she, same thing. And they did give her the whistle on that one. A couple of Mobley hit players came crashing down on her. But now the goalie just can't decide to glove the puck if there's no pressure on the goalie. You have to release it to one of your players. And the referee, if he feels like you did it, he can call a delay a game penalty on, the, on a goaltender. It doesn't happen often, but it can happen. Shot. Blocked. The Marblehead has the pocket. They throw it back in the Gloucester zone. Comes over to the near side. And here comes Marblehead. They break it out. They gain the blue line. They throw it back in behind the Gloucester net. Brooke McNiff is out there. She's behind the net trying to get possession. Up high to... Goes wide. Kept in by Marblehead. Shot is blocked. Well, that, that puck was high. It, it hit number 24, Jenna Connolly. I hope she's okay. She looks okay. 
mount offsides Marblehead. That last shot from the point was deflected up high and it hit Jenna Connolly right in the chest. But I think she's okay. Off the draw. Neutral zone face off. Marblehead with it. And here they come. Good, good back checking by number 18 for Gloucester. Aria Caputo. But Marblehead has possession. They get it out front. They, they maintain possession. He swings it around. It's deflected wide. Shot in. Deflected. It was bouncing. And here come the fishermen. And here comes Mia Salas. She's one on one. She gets broken up. Probably hit clears the zone. And here they come on a counterattack. And it goes behind the gloss in net. And the fishermen get it up the far boards. And it's kept in by Marblehead. It goes in. And oh, trying to find Sala. And they just can't get it on that break. Marblehead with the puck. They throw it in. They're off sides. Uh, no, they're still off sides. Yep, she went in too deep. Number seven didn't get back to touch up. I don't think she realized it was offside. She just kept on going in. I mean, I think if she had known it was offside, she probably wouldn't have gone in so deep. Face off will be in the neutral zone. I want to thank all you people that are tuning in. In fact, I want to thank all you people that tuned in this year. And here comes Connolly. And Marblehead throws it right back in. Caden Poole, number 16, is out there. She gets it up to the near uh, far boards, but Marblehead keeps it in. Here comes Poole again, broken up. And the fishermen finally get it out of the zone. It's in the neutral zone now. Goes right back into the Glosser end. Uh, Poole is there, but it's broken up. Shot deflected wide. Pucks behind the gloss and out front. Broken up by the fishermen. You know, the way this game is being played, you would think Marblehead's way ahead, but it's only 1 0. Fishermen trying to get it out. Here they come. They break it out to 2 on 2. Onside. Oh, they just barely stayed onside. Connolly puts it behind the net. It's along the far boards. It's kept in by fishermen. But Marblehead has possession and they break out. Here come the headers. Or the magicians. that call the headers in football. I think they're one of the few high school teams that has two nicknames. Out front. Save. Save again by Daly. And Marblehead's starting to rack up a few shots now. But Rachel Daly has been there to hold the fort. It's still 1-0. 8.43 left second period. Faceoff is in the Gloucester zone. And Marble here comes out with it. Look out. Shot. Save Daly again. And oh, uh, okay, Salah has it. 2 on 1. She couldn't get possession, but she was able to knock it in the zone. She goes and gets it. It's behind the net. She comes out with it. Gets it out to the defenseman. She passes it over to the near side. She's got a shot. Blocked. Kept in by the fisherman. Nice play, Sala. She gets. And, and the fisherman keeping in. Shot goes wide. Fisherman's trying to get some zone time here. And it comes outside the zone. Ella Costa with it. Makes a pass to Mia Sala. Mia makes a move. She's in. She's got a couple of teammates with her out front. She couldn't find them. She may have gone in a little too deep. But it's kept in by Costa. What a nice play. Sala over to the ball. Oh, she couldn't keep it in, unfortunately. 
tough play for the fishermen, but the fishermen got some zone time going now. They're only down one nothing. Seven and a half minutes left, second period. Connolly comes out, fishermen keep it in, and Marblehead finally clears. And Ella Costa with the puck in the neutral zone. And Marblehead needs a line change. They can't get it done. Now they might, might be able to, but the fishermen throw it right back in. And Marblehead having a hard time getting this line off. And here come the fishermen. Here they come. A tired Marblehead line. Fishermen keep it in. No, it comes out of the zone. They keep it in again. And Marblehead finally clears the zone, but they still can't get that line off, off because the puck hasn't gone in all the way in. Now they're making a line change. It goes one player, and it goes two. But the fishermen have possession in the Marblehead end. They keep it in. And they can't. And it gets by them. And look out. And what do we have? I think we got a penalty coming up. We have a hook. It's, it's got to be on Marblehead, I, I would believe. Yeah, number 11 again. That's her second penalty. Ellie Seller. That's her second penalty this period. All right, so the fishermen go on a power play again. Shot deflected high. Caught by Frank Core. And the puck is in the uh, marble, the face is in the marble head zone. Sala along the boards. She has possession. Makes a good pass out to number 10. Shot. Deflected score! Oh, they're calling it a no goal. No goal. Are they calling a crease violation? Number 10, Ella Costa took the shot, but it was deflected in, and I'm not sure why the referee is calling no goal on this. I think they're calling a crease violation. And not much of an argument. Well, actually, there was an argument on the Colossus side, but the referee just got the puck and dropped it. I don't want to hear your argument type of thing. So the fisherman is still on a power play. So the fisherman did score, but the goal got called back because of a crease violation. And here comes Gloucester. Sala gets knocked off the back. We got another penalty coming up on Mob ahead. No! They're calling it on Mia Sala? No, it's on Marblehead. Okay, number two is going in there now. Abigail Amigo, she's the goal scorer for Marblehead. The fisherman will have a two-man advantage for a minute and 12 seconds. So what a golden opportunity here for the lady fisherman to at least tie this game. Five on three. The shots on goal is 16-14 Marblehead. But Gloucester keeps hanging around. And the Gloucester head coach is having a word with the referee. That's Caitlin Burnick, the head coach of the Fishman, off the faceoff. Five on three Gloucester. They got a chance right here. Ooh, the puck hits the ref. Hope he's okay. Back out. Shot. Blocked. What a chance right there for Gloucester. The shot got blocked. Far side. Fishermen have possession. Shot in again. Saved by Frank Corr. Still got 52 seconds remaining on a two-man advantage. So the fishermen change out two play. Their defense changes out. Forwards stay the same. Sala back out to the point again. Shot. Wide open. Is blocked. Broken up by Gloucester. They keep it in. 40 seconds on the two-man advantage. Shot in. Deflected. Did it go in? No, it didn't. Oh. And the fisherman almost tied it. The puck was deflected, but Franco was there to uh, 
Make sure it didn't go in. Jenna Connolly comes out. Back to the point again. Over to the other side this time. Shot deflected. Back up high again to the point. Shot in. Blocked. Back up high again to the point. Shot. Goes wide. Fishman got a good power play going here. Lots of zone time. And Marblehead clears the zone. Ten seconds left on a two-man advantage. If they hurry, they can get one last rush out of it. They try to make a pass. The two-man advantage is over, but they're still on a power play. Connolly, nice moves. Shot is blocked. Look out. They get it down low, and Marblehead clears the zone. And it comes along the near boards, and they Marblehead puts it in the Gloucester zone. Still got a half a minute to go on the power play. Fisherman got some numbers here. Three on two. Shot by Connolly. Save Frank Orr. 22 seconds left on the power play. Fisherman had some good opportunities when, there was, when it was five on three. Couldn't bury him. Still one nothing Marblehead. Pucks along the near boards. Still got some time on the power play. If they can hurry, Mia Salas over there. But the defenseman keeps, oh, no. No, but she still kept it in. But Marblehead finally gets it out. Three seconds on the power play. Here come the fishermen. Power play is over. So Gloucester had a golden opportunity to tie the game. But they keep it in. Shot. All of a sudden, the fishermen have more shots than Marblehead does. Shot out front. Mia Sala deflected wide. She was wide open. And we got a, a icing on Marblehead. So the last two or three minutes of this game, Gloucester's had a lot of zone time, a lot of shots. Of course, it was five on three there for two minutes. They actually lead in shots on goal now, 19-16. But... The scoreboard remains one nothing fisherman where it count uh, excuse me, Marblehead where it counts the most. Parker's face off is in the corner out front, can't get there. Back out to the point. Shot deflected wide. And Marblehead has it. It comes up to the near boards. And fisherman keep it in. Number 16 with a nice play. Caden Poole. And Fisherman trying to keep it in, but it goes out, goes outside the line on the far side. And here comes Marblehead. Shot. Saved daily. And it goes back into the Glosser zone offsides. They touch up, but the Fisherman had possession. The last five minutes, they played really well, but they went, haven't been able to dent the armor of uh, Lily Francoeur. Cut in by Gloucester. Goes in behind the net. Marblehead has it. Here they come. They're trying to break it out. And they get a three on two developing. Fishman better get back. Three on two. Shot. Save. Daly. And the puck gets pushed wide. It comes to the near boards. Out front. Connolly. Here comes Caputo. Caputo with it. No, that, that was Connolly, number 24. Caputo's 18. Connolly with it. She keeps it in. Shot. Goes wide. Ariana Mullen, number 17, is out there. And here, come, here comes Marblehead. 120 left, second period. They take it in deep. Shot. Goes across the crease. Goes in low. Marblehead in there first. Out front. Oh, they fanned on it. The Gloucester got a major break there. And it comes outside the zone. We're under a minute of the second period now. And here come the fishermen. They get it out. 
They take it in. It goes inside the Marblehead zone, but Marblehead has possession. Fishermen are on a line change. They better hurry up. They get back there just in time. Marblehead with possession. Save. Gloucester trying to come out with it. And Mia Sala, she has a breakaway. 17 seconds. Score! Mia Sala ties the game with 14.9 seconds remaining in the second period. 1-1. One, one. So she finally got the break she needed. To skate in all alone and score. She beat Frank Corr, and it's 1-1 with 14.9 seconds remaining in the second period, and that was a big goal for Gloucester. That gives them a little more confidence going into the th uh, third period. But here comes Marblehead. Look out. Shot goes wide. Five seconds. And Miyasala, she won't have enough time. So after two periods of play... Marblehead won, Gloucester won, the Zamboni will come out, so we'll be back for third period action in a few moments. Every single one of his medical bills, everything, is just all taken care of. We have phenomenal research, outstanding clinical care, and the generosity of public, which allow us to treat patients regardless of what it takes. At St. Jude, families never receive a bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food because the only thing a family should worry about is helping their child live. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. Do you know what to do if you're stuck on the railroad crossing? Get out of your vehicle. If a train is not approaching, find the blue and white emergency notification system sign on the traffic signs at the crossing. For help, call the number on the sign and give them the crossing number so they know your location and can alert train traffic. Remember, find the blue and white to save your life. I was the lead gunner of the convoy that we had. While I was suppressing fire, I felt a flick on my upper biceps area. Right after my recovery, I had to find myself again and see what else I could do to continue my selfless service. Having an organization like the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes, putting me back into working with wounded troops helped me to process my injury. I'm Sergeant Mary Herrera and my alive date was November 8th, 2003. For more information, visit saluteheroes.org. Welcome back, everybody. Third period action. 1-1 one, one on a late goal by Mia Sala. Sets us up for a uh, pretty exciting third period here today. And tomorrow we'll be right back here. Same time. 4 p.m. for the Gloucester Boys versus the Danvis Boys. And that should be fun. Tomorrow's the final game for the for the boys as well. So we're almost on the way. Should be a good third period. And they drop the puck. Puck goes into the Gloucester zone. The fishermen actually lead the shots on goal, 22 to 19. In the way out front, look out. And the way this game started, I didn't think it was even possible that Gloucester could come up with a lead on the shots on goal, but they do. But Marblehead has possession in their own end, in Gloucester's end. Out front, no one's there. Puck goes behind the net. Two players are battling for a pair of tens behind the net. Number 10 for Marblehead, Elsa Wood. Number 10 from Gl Gloucester, Ella Costa. Both teams are changing lines after about a 36-second shift. And Fishman win the face off. A Marblehead comes up with it. Out front, no one's there. 
Marblehead keeps it in. And finally, the Fishermen get it out of the zone. Broken up. Brooke McNiff gets into the middle. Sala. Shot. Save. Frank Hoare. Kept in by Gloucester. Up high to the point on a nice pass. Deflected. Sala in the corner again. Kept in by the fisherman. Goes far and goes on the far side. Ariano Caputo can't keep it in. And it comes out to the neutral zone. And the fishermen have it. Last game of the season for the lady fishermen. Uh, I probably would assume for both teams. Puck goes to the far corner, kept in by Gloucester. But Marblehead comes away with it. And here comes uh, the headers of the magicians, as to say. They're the headers in football. Puck comes up to the near boards, and Gloucester can't get it out. Kept in by Marblehead. It goes in behind the net. Out front, look out. Broken up. And they knock it right back in. Ward is back there, number 10. For Marblehead. And it's tied up. The puck went in the net, but it well after the whistle. Rachel Daly tied it up. Marblehead knocked it in, but a little bit past the whistle. Marblehead wins the faceoff. Shot deflected wide. Goes behind, goes in the corner. Connolly comes out with it with a nice play. Makes a pass. She can't connect, and it looks like it's going to be icing on Glotzer. No, they call no ice. Well, the fisherman caught a break on that one. Kept in. Now it comes out of the zone. Connolly. She takes it in, but she's all alone. Makes a nice pass. Julie Ward, number 12, is out there with her. It's kept in by Gloucester. Shot. Deflected wide. It's behind the net. Connolly looking for someone to pass to. She has possession, but there's two Marblehead players right on top of her. And here comes Marblehead. They break it out. They get it in deep. No ice. Costa with it, number 10. Ella Costa. Gets it up to the near boards. Ward gets it out of the zone. Marblehead throws it back in. They're off sides. Now they touch up. And the fishermen couldn't connect on the neutral zone. They were on a line change. And here come the magicians. Number 20 for Marblehead. Jane Witten. Was coming out of the zone with the puck. She had a good head of steam going. Out front. Save. Rebound. Save again. Couple of nice saves by Rachel Daly. Daly is a junior. Here comes Mia Sala. And she's broken up at the last minute. Here comes Marblehead. They want a line change. She swings it around. Save again by Daly. And here's Sala with it. She has it in the neutral zone. It's one on one. Let's see if she can make a move. Oh. But here come the fishermen with a break. Oh, they couldn't get it to the open forward in front of the net, but the puck remains loose. Fishermen have it out front. Sala. Short. It's deflected. Oh, what a save by Frank Hoare. Rebound goes wide on a shot by Sala. Fisherman had a golden chance to take the lead there, but Frank Hoy shut the door. It's kept in, goes behind the net again. So the Fisherman got some zone time going now, too. And did they keep it in? Yeah, they do. Shot in, out front. Save Frank Hoy. So some pressure there by the Fisherman. Two 
28-22, the shots on goal. The fishermen have really come on strong in that department. But both goalies are doing a good job. Face off. Kept in by the fisherman. It goes behind the marble head net. Number 12 after it. Julie Ward. Connolly tries to keep it in, but she can't. Here comes marble head. They gain the blue line. They take it into the zone. They go deep. Ward tries to break it up. She does. Ward and number 10 is battling in there. Ella Costa. But Marble here comes out with it. She's all alone. Out front. And they score. The puck was hanging around the crease area. And I think it's number 7. Hadley Wales. Number 7 was the goal scorer for Marble Head. And Hadley is a junior forward. And that gives Marble Head a 2-1 to one lead with 9.09 left in the game. So the fishermen get their work cut out for them. They're only down by one goal, but it's the third period now. And Marble Head has possession in their own end. They, she swings it behind the net. Tries to make a pass. Connolly trying to get it. But here comes Marblehead. Number 10, Elsa Wood. She has it behind the net. She takes it out front. Look at her skate. Good little skater. She's, in, she's interfered with. Number 17 for Colossus out there. Ariana Mullen. She goes off. And here comes a new line for the fisherman. But here comes Marblehead on the counterattack. And they throw it in deep, goes behind the net. Costa with it. Ella Costa. And here comes Gloucester. Mia Sala out ahead of the group. But she couldn't maintain possession. And here comes Marblehead on a counterattack. Look out. And they couldn't connect. Number 16 for Gloucester's out there. Caden Poole. Poole with it. Poole with a pass out front. It's intercepted. Poole has it again. Pool. She's looking for someone to pass to. And she can't get it out. It goes all the way back in the Gloucester zone again. Comes to the near side. And they finally get it out. Caputo's out there for Fisherman. Here comes Marble hit again. Shot blocked by Gloucester. Sala with it. Makes a pass. Sala regains it. She gained the blue line. She fans on a shot, but it's rebound by Gloucester. Rebound, it's right there. And the puck was hanging around in front of the net, but Frank Corr, Lily Frank Corr, was able to uh, tie it up just in the nick of time. I want to thank all you people for tuning in, not just today, but all year long. we got one more game for you tomorrow as the winter sports season comes to a close. And one of the strangest footballs out front for Ward. She couldn't maintain possession. Fishman trying to keep it in. And they do. Ariana Mullins out there, number 17. And Ward gets knocked down in front of the net. Mullen lost her stick. And she regains it. It goes down to the Gloucester end. Costa. Number four for Glosser's out there. Abigail Lowthers. And she gets it out. It goes all the way down to the Marblehead zone. Ward. She tries to get it in the neutral zone. Oh, she gets hooked. And a power play coming up for the fisherman. Number two. Abigail Amigo. Is going into the penalty box for Mobley. A good hustle by Brooke McNiff. I believe that no, was um, Mullen. And she got hooked. And so the fisherman will have a power play. 6 18 remaining in the game. And Mobblehead clears the zone.
And here come the fishermen. Nice moves there. They keep it in. And it's kept in by Gloucester. Yes, they keep it in. Oh, they kept it in, but Marblehead was able to immediately knock it back out. A minute and a half on the power play. 5.42 remaining in the game. Marblehead leads it 2-1. to one. And a well-played game here today. Off the boards. Goes down to the Marblehead zone. Fishermen have it. Sala. She's got some open ice. She passes it. They knock it back in. Sala in there. And Marblehead clears the zone. Fisherman have it. Number 11, Sydney Bushi. She makes a pass. She was looking for Sala, but she couldn't find her. And the fishermen are offsides. Marblehead clears the zone anyways. About a, a little over a half a minute left on the power play. 4.52 remaining in the game. And here comes Mia Sala. She has plenty of time left on the power play. She got room. She passes it to Connolly. Connolly back to Sala. And Sala loses possession, but she regains it out front. And I think we got another penalty coming up on Marblehead. We got another hook. On it looks like number ten is going to go to the uh, to the penalty box. Number ten for a hook, Elsa Wood, the little speedster. So it's a two-minute advantage for 16 seconds for Gloucester. They get it back to the point. Slap shot out front. Shot it's blocked. Fisherman had possession. They got time for the two-minute advantage, but the puck went outside the zone. So that kills the two-man advantage. They're still on a power play. Connolly has it. Connolly. Over to Mullen. Back to Connolly. She's trying to maintain possession. She gets it back up to the point with a nice play shot. Was blocked. And here comes Marblehead. Short-handed. And then they throw it in the zone. They get a line change, Marblehead. But here come the fishermen. Mullen. She has it. Sala in the middle. Shot. Save Frank Hoare. And Marblehead clears the zone. They still got about a little over a minute left on the power play. Three and a half minutes left in the game. So time is not on their side. And it's broken up off sides. Here comes Gloucester. They couldn't connect on the pass. They still got 48 seconds remaining. Plenty of time on the power play. They got to get stuck in the zone. And it's kept in. They make a pass. Sala's out front shot goes over the net. Kept in. Shot. Save Frank Corps. The puck is loose. And Frank Corps catches it on the bounce. So this recent two-man advantage, the fishermen have really racked up some shots. They lead 35-23 in that department. But they trail it 2-1 on the scoreboard with 3.03 left in the game. Well-played game here today by both teams. The Lady Fishermen and the Lady Magicians. Goes all the way down to the Gloucester zone. Pull. Gets it up to the wing. Sala with it. And she can't maintain possession. The puck was in her feet. And Marblehead clears the zone again. The penalty is over. So it's back to five on five with two and a half minutes left in the game. And the fishermen got to get some zone time going now. And it comes out of the zone. Marblehead will throw it right back in. Brooke McNiff. Here comes McNiff. Banks it off the boards. And they try to get it out. Stolen by Marblehead. They throw it back in deep. Goes behind the net. Two minutes remaining exactly. Sala has the puck. I'll keep an eye on the Gloucester goaltender for you. The best I can if they get a chance to pull her out. 
They throw it in deep. Goes back behind the Gloucester net. Kept in by Marblehead. Fisherman got to get it out of there. A minute and a half left in the game. And here comes Gloucester now. They got to get the puck in deep so they can get their goalie out. They're trying to get her attention now. But here comes Marblehead. Two on one. Look out. Sh save. By Daly. And the puck goes to the far boards. We're approaching one minute. The fishermen got to get the puck down the other end so they can get their goalie out. Under a minute now. It goes behind the Gloucester net. Out front. Goes wide. She just missed. Gloucester caught a break there. They better hurry, though. They can't get their goalie out. And they finally get it out of the zone. But I don't think they're going to be able to get the goalie out. Let's see. Here comes Marblehead again. Shot deflected wide. Good defensive play there. Out front. And here comes Gloucester now. They might have a chance. There's only 20 seconds left. They got to hurry. They get the goalie out finally. Might be a tad too late. Puck is along the near side. Eight seconds. If they hurry, they, Miyasala goes after it. Trying to get it out front. And that will do it. The fisherman gave it quite an effort here today. After beating Marblehead on Thursday, 5-3. Marblehead bounces right back today to beat them 2-1 to one on the final game of the season. This was a good hockey game here today. And let's give the Gloucester girls a lot of credit and the Marblehead girls as well. As the Gloucester girls will end their season here this afternoon with a 2-1 to one loss to Marblehead. Okay, folks, me and Jim will be right back here tomorrow afternoon, 4 o'clock start. Gloucester boys versus the Danvers boys. And that promises to be an exciting game. Until next time, for Gloucester High School Hockey. Good night, everybody.